Hey everybody, it's Hogan Hyden, and I'm back with the Helsin vs. Hyden campaign. This is War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. I'm playing in Japan. He's playing the Allies. This is uh, January 15th. And we just got a really big uh, base capture on Java. Uh, it's going to really help get our troops across, so that's actually pretty handy. So right now, we're unloading more stuff here at Malang. It should be mostly supply. Okay, now we're landing at Palm Island. This is back in Australia. Just figured I'd grab this base since I could. Oh! 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 Forgot about those dang subs, man. Yikes. Uh. I forgot that he probably had a sub camp out in the Maya and our AMC, which is very valuable to me. Just barely dodged four torpedoes. So fortunately, Mark 14 curse helped me out today, but man, I, I should have been more careful there. Uh, That's kind of weird. Look at this. So we have a an AKL. Oh, okay. So one of our AKLs was intercepted by one of his S boats, and nothing came of that. Elected not to fire torpedoes. All right, but if you look on the map here, guys, we see Allied subs all over the place. I don't know why we're able to see these right now, but look there, 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 and something at Rockhampton too. This is hmm. Okay, no night bombing at all. All right, so it looks like we got the Dutch sub 021 camping out at Malang. Probably time for us to get the heck out of there. It'd be nice if my destroyers would attack this thing. Come on, let's get some hits on this. There's a hit. There's another hit. So this is pretty shallow water here. These Type 95s should be able to reach it. Direct hit. Nice. Cool. So it looks like we had a direct hit on the O21. Uh, it definitely won't sink it, but he may have to go back into Surabaya for repairs, or better yet, further on, maybe down to to Perth or something, because Surabaya is in danger. Anything he put into the shipyard here is at risk of being captured or sunken at the dock. So he's probably going to drive it out of here. More sub activity than I would like. Okay, so right now I'm unloading some supply here. These are This is a fast transport uh, task force, and I'm just bringing in supply to, to bolster the attack here. Cool, that should be the last of what's on the task force for us here. Yeah, we're just unloading stuff here. Okay, landing at Brockhampton. Excellent. Another another landing in Australia, guys. There should be one more. Let's see if it happens during the daytime. Alright, these guys are just dumping more supply here. And it looks like we actually got a little piece of something here at Malang. Oh, that's going to hit. I know it will. Yep. Dang it. I knew it. I, I don't know why this is unescorted. It should have had some escort on it. For whatever reason, it didn't. I 
don't know if this will sink. It might. We may not be able to save that. All right. I have no idea what Helson's going to do in the air today. Um, my guess is that he's going to, you know, attempt to do something. He's definitely still got uh, Doniers. Hmm. I got a bad feeling about this one, guys. I just feel like today we're going to take some more losses. We've been too lucky for the last few days. He's going to get some good airstrikes off. Something Sir, by our mission canceled. Dang it. Okay. Sweeping over Malang because I do intend to bomb this hex. And I want to make sure that he's not going to try to intervene there. Man, something bad's going to happen. I just feel it. Alright. So bombing here. Let's see what he's got. <laughs> Maddie on base force. Oh, awesome. That's perfect. I, I was concerned that he would have something more substantial here. I'm not worried about a base force. Nice. Two good hits on that on that unit. It should fold up like a suitcase when we attack there. I do have a couple attacks scheduled for China this turn, so I'm just sending in some some bombers to soften them up. Nice hits today at Baton. Look at that. Jeez. Also good hits at Kukong. Guys, again, these air base, air base supply hits are the most crucial thing that we can be doing right now, I feel. This is bleeding supply that he has trouble keeping up with. We want supply hits over anything else. Oh, I think I hit the wrong button there. Hold on tight. Just a bunch of recon anyway. Okay, AM phase is in the books. So far, so good. Minimal disruption from him. Uh, we'll see if the air attacks are going to come at us in, in, anywhere today. If it's going to happen, it needs to happen now. Okay, PM face. Let's see if he's got anything for us today. <sighs> Weather cancellations again. Kind of fast forwarding through all these recon missions. Whoa, 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 whoa! What just happened? <gasps> oh! Okay, sorry guys, I got a little fast there. It looks like that ship finally did sink, the one that was hit by the, um, by that S boat. It did go down there. Anyway, back on track. We are landing at Townsville. Oh! Oh! 
Uh, oh, that's that's concerning. Uh, apparently, Townsville's got something in it. I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, I was not aware. So, we have another contested landing, it looks like. All right, all right. Now we know what's in car cans, cairns. It's an armor regiment. So we do have some opposition here we need to, to be a little bit concerned about. Okay. I knew we, I knew we were going to take some more losses today. It was inevitable. But no enemy air activity at all. Okay, so we're on the ground in China. We have a, a deliberate attack in this hex. This should go very good. These guys should be taken off here. Okay. That's a weird direction to retreat, but I'll I'll take it. Because I'm not worried about that too much. Cool. So we drove those two units off. As you can see, it's just the B and the C. The A is who knows where. It may already be dead. Look at that. Defender supply. This is important, guys. This is telling us that his forward units out here were out of supply. So that's why we basically took no losses here. They had no no bullets to shoot. They're throwing rocks at us. That's very telling for the Chinese right now. Okay, another shock attack here. We hit this guy yesterday. I'm going to hit him again and try to kill it because I just want to clear this road. There we go. So that's done. That unit is destroyed. Again, it's not ideal because um, this guy's going to respawn in Chungking with probably a lot more AV than it's got now. But at least that means I can put a much smaller unit in this hex and not have to worry about keeping a whole mixed brigade here. I don't need a mixed brigade for this. I can put in a little RGC uh, division just to hold the hex open and nothing he's got around us has the power to stop it. All right, this is Tanjun Penang. We were landed here last turn. I just was trying to clear it out because it's near Singapore. And that unit surrenders. And we own that base. Okay, deliberate attack at Malang. This should go really good. This unit is completely wrecked. We should take this. Yes! Oh, man. That's awesome. Oh, man, that's really good for us, guys. That's awesome. Op mode. He was in the wrong op mode? That's... This is absolute best-case scenario, guys. We have a wide-open road all the way into Surabaya now. Like, there's nothing to stop us now. This may not be so great. Um, this unit is probably a bit stronger than I thought. Hmm. Okay. Well, we kind of dodged a bullet here, guys. Um, this is an armored unit, right? I'll have to look this one up and see what this is. But, for whatever reason, he's in the wrong op mode here. I think he's still unpacking. So we may actually be able to do something with this. Um, hmm. Okay. I think we can take this guy. Next turn, now that we have another infantry regiment on, on site. Wow. Okay. A couple key battles in on the ground today that went good for us. I, the Malang and Java was probably the most important thing. It's really good. We needed that base, and now um, we have nothing stopping us from getting trapped on that little peninsula on Java. We can drive all the way into Surabaya with no no issues at all. So I'm, I'm actually really happy with that.
Another good turn. I'll take that. All right, guys. Good turn again. Second one in a row. And we got probably one of the most important bases on Java for me at this moment. Aircraft losses today. Look at this, guys. One for me, zero for him. We only had a single Oscar loss today. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's pretty great, right? Um, and unfortunately, it looks like that pilot was killed. Look at these pilot losses so far. Golly. Okay. Um, ship sunk this last turn. Unfortunately, we did lose one. The Shinwa Maru was taken out by a torpedo, but I'm not overly concerned about it because it's an Akasi class, and while they have really good range, they're not super fast. Cargo capacity is eh. it's not, the, uh, not the worst kind of ship to lose, so I can absorb that. I mean, honestly, it's worth it for all the stuff we've taken so far. Army loss points for this turn. Uh, zero for us and 44 for the Allies. No strategic loss points incur uh, incurred this turn. For the turn, we have gained 63 points to bring our win ratio up to 2.142. And I don't think we're going to look at Combat Reporter tonight because I looked through it and I didn't see anything particularly noteworthy that I thought was worth um, discussing right now so I think I will tell you the only thing I saw in Sigint was that there was a hit for Tenet Creek or somewhere very near it so there's a strong likelihood that there are units moving uh, up and down here but that's completely expected typically you're if as the allies you're gonna rail stuff in from Port Augusta to Alice Springs uh, I would think you'd want to build this base up and then you start building up these spaces along the way to try to get some sort of supply flow going to Darwin over land. So I think that might be kind of what's going on here. Other than that, I didn't see anything in there that we really needed to discuss. So we'll take a look at Northern Pacific. It's quiet. Home Islands is quiet. Just got my thing going here. We're moving lots of resources into here now. Uh, everything's looking great. Looking really good. Okay. China. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's talk about it. Here, last turn we had two victories. Where we displaced one unit this way, and we destroyed another one here. Uh, and basically what that does is it completely opens up these hexes, and I control the hex sides now, all of them. Let me clean that up. Let's take a look at this. I control the hex sides completely here, which simplifies our supply movements into Ankang, and you can already see... Uh, we have quite a bit of supply flowing that way now that there is absolutely zero disruption. Well, I take that back. There is. <laughs> We're still kind of cut off. So there is a supply path kind of this way, right? But it's not ideal. Okay. So what we're going to do now, um, our next plan is to, well, the next plan is to do this. We're going to take these guys probably within two turns and then these guys within two turns and once we take these out we should fully reopen the rail lines all the way to hand cow and the supply flow all the way everywhere else we need to go look at this mess of drawings okay uh, I'm also in route up to fully secure this road here I'm gonna be taking out this unit probably within two turns to fully open up the supply flow all the way towards land shell if we wanted to we're on our way to this hex here uh, and right here uh, this one's got some units in there I think it's gonna be a bunch of broken up partial units like uh, a B and C's and something else uh, either way they're not gonna be able to stop this unit whatsoever so these guys are, should be in there next turn and then we'll take that road and we will hold we will then own this um, own the fuel lines going into Lanchow. Now I do see that he's currently on the move right here. He's trying to go into here and into here, but we're gonna beat him in both places, right? This unit's gonna take forever to get here. This one's gonna take four days. We'll be done in three days. No, we'll be done in two days. 
So that unit will get there late, and all it's going to do is, is open up one single hex side. It won't open up the one that counts, though, because we're going to own this whole thing. And on top of that, I'm applying additional pressure this way towards Kuncheng because I think, if I'm reading the situation right, this unit here is a base force. So it's probably not overly powerful. It's going to have maybe just even its engineers, if that we may be able to take these guys out because I think he's moved everything south to try to cover all this stuff and we found a vulnerability. So we're going to advance in two directions. We're going to go this way and we're going to go this way. And either or either or hexes will work for me. They'll both get the job done. And then the fuel to Chungking is then cut off. It will take some time for that to show up though because he already has a lot of fuel stockpiled here. It is naturally goes that way. So, but we're going to stop the pump and then he'll burn through that stuff pretty quick. All right. So that's Northern China. Looking in Southern China, we did in fact get into this hex here. Oops. We did in fact get into this hex here before he did. And now we block it. So when he goes into here next turn, if he decides to go in here, he cannot proceed. And we can start whittling that unit down, decide if we want to kill it or not. My guess is that this unit is extremely low on supply, if it even has any at all. Because these other units here along the way are probably sopping up the supply. So the only supply path he actually has for this unit that makes any sense, if we look at the terrain, um, this is the supply path that I see for him right now. And I'll actually, to be honest with you, that's not even any good because we're blocking it here and we're blocking it here. So these guys... Should be out of supply. And I think we're going to press the test on these guys next turn and see if that's true. I'm going to order an attack in this hex right here. And we're going to see if he's actually out of supply or not. I think he is. I don't think he, I don't think the Chinese can supply these guys right now. So we will attack here next turn. Let's put these guys on. Let's go deliberate attack. Not these guys. And if these guys are going to bombard. And we'll see what we get out of that. He has one core here that's diminished and one base force. Uh, we should have at least 3 to 1 AV on him. Plus, I've got reinforcements coming in in two turns. But yeah, we blocked him here. And I think I want to go ahead and finish these guys off. And we can secure all of this part of China and move those troops towards Kukong or Pinxiang or somewhere else and apply pressure towards Changsha. Okay, so now we are in this hex here, guys. Uh, finally made it in. This is Lu Chao. I think we've got a tall order here, though, because we're showing a lot of enemy forces here. And I don't know if I have enough to take it. So what we're going to do is we're going to bombard next turn and feel it out and see what he's got. I've got additional troops ready to shock attack across here. But I want to make sure that I know what I'm getting into before we do that. So I can wave these guys off at any time. Because I don't want them shock attacking into uh, a big disaster. So let's we're going to bomb it and see what we got. The one thing I do like is that it is clear terrain, and we have on and off been bombing this place, so hopefully the fort levels aren't too high. Um, but this is this is going to be a touch-and-go operation, uh, bottom line, because there's still a chance for intervention from Changsha and from uh, Kwai Lin getting in here and interfering and adding more weight to this thing. Uh, or these guys could try to come in behind us here and block our supply path. That's why I kind of want a shock attack across the river here just to open up that hex side, even though it might be kind of suicidal. We're going to have to see. But yeah, uh, with within the next few turns, we'll, we'll really know what our chances are looking like in, uh, in Luchow. I also have additional forces coming in to this hex here. And as soon as I have, uh, I don't know, I've got another 400 AV coming up the rail lines. Once I have about 800 AV here, uh, we're going to t shock attack into Nanning. We should take it. Once these guys are displaced, we can continue pushing on into Luchow and hopefully take it if, if, they ha if we haven't already gotten it by then. The next few turns are going to be kind of important for us to figure out what, what's going on. Okay. Uh, let's take a look in Burma. I, honestly, there's no real uh, activity here. Right? Okay, looking in Malaya. I 
Uh, what was I saying? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sabang. Um, we captured that. And next turn, we'll be into this hex. And then we'll go here. And then finally get into Madon. And this will be our first oil producing base. And then I expect to be shipping oil back and forth between Georgetown from Madon. This is going to take about... Um, See two turns for this is gonna take about ten turns total to get to Madon because we're probably gonna have to stop and fight these guys every single time. They don't seem to be dying when I attack them, so uh, we're just gonna have to like battle them through every hex, and it's gonna be a pain in the butt. If I were smart, I would land a unit here and work my way up this way. But you know what's the rush? I don't really need the oil quite yet. Well, maybe I do. I don't know. I'll think about it. I could easily get a unit landed here, like an aviation support unit, and go into Madon that way. That actually might be a better option. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. Okay, let's take a look at this cluster that is Luzon. Um, potentially poorly mismanaged by me. I, I actually, I think it was. So here's our problem. Um, these guys are now in vegan, and they'll take this space next turn. And then they'll probably go here, then here, then down to Apari. Swing down to Tugu Garau, come back this way to Cotabato, and then potentially just take every base on Luzon and end up back at Clark or trying to get into Manila. Um, it's kind of a pain. I don't think he's got enough to take Manila right now, but I, at this point, I have absolutely nothing that I can spare to stop him from taking back every one of these bases up here. So what I'm trying to do is get the stupid supply out of here as quickly as I can. Uh, right now, there's there's 3,000 supply at Laog, and I don't know why. So uh, I need to get that out of here because I do not want him capturing that. There's no good explanation as to why there's even supply there to begin with. So I think of what might want to do here is take a few of these uh, cargo ships here, right? Um, let's see. Let's take these guys. Let's send them over here to Laog. Do not unload. Remain on station. Laog supply extraction. Hopefully the game will figure this out on our own. And we'll get the supply out of here and not let it fall into his hands. But I really don't want him having 3,000 supply. So either way... I'm going to get this, get that out of here. Uh, good news, though, is the bulk of my forces have already arrived at Apari, and we are in the process of evacuating them now. So I'm going to start getting as many of these units out of here, and then we will send them down. I'm going to go the safe way around here, just in case he's got subs or something hanging out here. And get them into Batangas. And then from there, they'll walk into Manila. And we'll be able to just kind of hold out there and wait. But yeah, he's going to rampage through this whole area and take every one of these bases. And it's kind of a pain in the butt. I wish I had uh, played this better in hindsight. But I just came in too light in the Philippines to hold against something like this. So when he breaks out, I really can't stop it. So I just kind of have to let it happen. And hopefully he just keeps starving himself every time he does it. Uh, okay, uh, and, and better news though, it looks like we have the 21st Division in, let's go, these guys are ready, so we can reform this thing and load this on transports and get it moving. And I also have more additional, um, these are the uh, garrison troops. They're landing here now so they can relieve the 21st Division. And two SNLF companies are enough to keep this place garrison. I've got more SNLF companies going into Davao and Cotabato. Sorry, did I say Cotabato up there? Cabinatuan, that's the base up here. This is Cotabato. And I can take these SNLF units and move them um, somewhere else. Uh, probably somewhere into the DEI to start working on Terracan. Balak popping, all that other stuff. And then we can start rapidly cleaning up Borneo 
and get the oil flowing. But yep, we're going to get um, 21st Division moving. I don't know where I'm going to send it yet, but it'll be somewhere good. Okay. Probably the most important thing to happen this turn was here at Malang. All right. This was a must grab for me. And I, I don't understand why, but Helson decided to only put a single base force here. And I, I don't think he recognized the importance of the terrain here. You can't see it, but it's uh, mountain terrain. Uh, he could have really stopped us up right here really good. So what I think he should have done was the second he saw us landing here was he should have whaled some stuff down from uh, Bandung and got here and blocked us because he could have had us stuffed up on this peninsula for a while, but he didn't. Uh, in addition to our, our luck here, this base also flopped over, which means my armor can drive right on through. So the goal here is to have my armor take this base, go here, and then come up to Semarang and basically cut Java in half. And then when I'm ready, I can go into Surabaya because now we can go straight into Surabaya from Malang, one hex over on a good road. Uh, I don't want to do that yet until I have enough engineers in place to rebuild and to staff Surabaya for aircraft. Because the second that uh, I go into this base, here's what he's going to do. He's going to bomb the crap out of it because it has a lot of oil, right? It's got 191 oil centers. It's got refineries. It's got all kinds of industry. He's going to come in here and bomb the crap out of this place from Bandung, Batavia. So I want to make sure that I can land aviation support in here the same turn we go in and immediately fly zeros in here to hold down this place so he can't bomb as much oil. That's what I want to do. So that's why I don't really have those things in place quite yet. So we're going to wait until I do. And then from there, um, we'll take Surabaya. But that doesn't mean we can't move forward and grab Semarang and Jakarta. All in all, though, um, the primary objective this turn was to capture Malang, and we've done so. And that's fantastic for us. Right? We own that whole hex. He can't get in here with rail. He'll have to walk in. This unit, two of these units, I believe, are, are at, two of the three units that Surabaya are static. They can't move anyway. And the, the third one is damaged from the attack, so it's done for. So, looking good on Java, guys. And we've done this entirely 100% with land-based air assets. No carriers at all. We didn't need them. And that means my carriers can be used in other places. And they, they have been. Okay, so let's take a look at Australia here. Um, kind of a mixed bag of stuff. Overall, it's good, though. So here's what we got. We landed in Rockhampton this turn, and next turn we will capture it, and that blocks the rail lines even further south than what we currently have at Bowen. So that means he's going to have to walk from Rockhampton all the way up, stop here, attack, all the way up, stop here, attack, all the way up here, stop, attack, then up this crappy road here to get to our main base of operations at Cooktown. So we're talking weeks and weeks and weeks, assuming he even wanted to do that. So I think we're sitting pretty here. Um, one concern that I have is the unit that I brought into Rockhampton isn't overly powerful. So he may elect to bomb it with his bombers, assuming he's got some that have the range. That could be an issue, but I still think we'll take the base regardless. Oh, okay. At Townsville, we ran into some coastal defense guns, right? Those cause a little bit of an issue. Uh, right here, the this this ship took some pretty decent damage from six-inch guns. I need to decide if I want to keep unloading. Do we have enough supply here? No, we don't. So we actually need to land more supply in Townsville. Although I don't really know what he's got here. My guess is my guess is that it's more than what I can take. Well, you know what? I think no guts, no glory, guys. Let's go for it. Let's go for a delivery attack next turn. This may be a big Poduck unit that's not that good. Let's try it out. Uh, that does mean that we will take some more damage as we unload here from the coastal defense guns. It is what it is. We'll get these guys to unload. 
Uh, we also loaded at Palm Island, but I neglected to realize that this unit has no AV in it. There's no assault strength. So it's not going to actually take the base. It might flop over due to proximity because we have troops there, I think. But it this is kind of a waste of time. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a screw up there. Uh, okay, at Cairns. Cairns? Cairns? I don't know how to say this, this thing. Um, we found out that he has an armored regiment here. But I'm not worried about it because I don't actually think it's that strong. Uh, I did a little bit of opposition research and I found out that this unit only has a, uh, like a, a morale and a studying experience of 35. And the, the vehicles they got are not very good, right? The improved AFBs and stuff. So here's what I do got here. I have the second foremost infantry regiment with an experience level of 90. And this naval guard unit with an experience level of 90. And do we actually do have some anti-take weapons in this outfit. So I think we're going to go for a deliberate attack again. And I think we'll have no issue carrying this base. Once we have cans, cairns. I could send a unit further down to assist with Townsville if we still need it. And the Naval Guard unit can continue on to Hugh Enden to just continue blocking the rail lines and ways for him to ingress into us from there. So overall, uh, Cairns should be taken next turn. Have no idea on Townsville. Rockhampton will be taken next turn. We already have Cooktown, Normanton. Maybe Palm Island if things go well. Uh, it's looking good, guys. We've really locked down this part of Australia. And I've already got airfield building up at Cooktown. And once it gets to at least size 3, we should be able to initiate some strategic bombing of Cloncurry. And then, uh, yeah. But what we did do was save these rail lines. So anything that didn't get by Rockhampton this last turn is not getting in. Right? These rail lines have to go through here. To continue going anywhere else further north and we've just blocked those this is probably as far as i'm going to get because if we get any closer we're going to get into the uh the brisbane death trap which there are a couple hundred aircraft here now and a hundred thousand troops so there's no way uh we can really push any further south at this moment until my reinforcements arrive but that's okay we have plenty to keep us busy up north to keep consolidating this place and uh, yeah, I think we're looking really good. So that's the turn. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, so far, really, really happy with what's been going on. Uh, Java has just been nothing but a total success story. There's, I don't know, think it could have gone any better. We did take a little bit of risk going to Malang, but it was worth it because we secured the base that is the basically the entryway, the doorway into the rest of Java. If we got hung up here, guys, we would be stuck for a very, very long time. And I just was not relishing the thought of getting stuck uh, in here anytime soon yeah, we would have been stuck here against that mountain terrain forever and i didn't want it so java's doing great uh china i think is doing pretty good uh let's see here this is looking good burma's looking good Sumatra's looking good, but we're slow rolling this. There's no rush. Mm, Luzon's not looking so hot, but, you know, I've learned a lot. And in the meantime, we still own Manila, and that's the most important base here. Mindanao's looking pretty good. So, yep, there's my turn. I can't wait to read your comments, and I hope you'll come and talk to me on Discord, too. I can show you a lot more stuff in detail there than I can here. So, if you're not there yet, please come on over so we can talk, and I would love to show you more stuff about my campaign. In the meantime... All that's left to say is I'll catch you guys on the next one.